So Tammy found her right here in your room? Yeah, but I'm sure she's gonna be okay. Isn't that right, Carrie Ann? What do you mean? Why are you looking at me like that? Because I know all about you, Yami, and Kareen. I know you're all witches. Did you do this? Are you the one that put Kareen in the hospital in a coma? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> but the black stone made me. It told me to. Well, where is it now? You have to give it to me. I don't have it. Not anymore. I gave it to your roommate. Yami has it. I'm not sure that's such a great idea. Clive and Yami have been getting a little too chummy lately. If Clive finds that stone, he could use it to destroy us all. Well, from what I heard from Yami, Clive is a completely different person. Yeah, he may seem like Mr. Wonderful, but I know he's up to something. I just have to find out what. Well, this is it. This is where you live, Clive? It's so luxurious. Yeah, it's a nice place. It used to be Shalen's, I believe. But I think Yami and Carrie Ann have taken it over. Are you sure this is a good idea, me coming here? Of course it is. After all, you are carrying our grandchild. At least that's what we want Yami to believe. What if Yami finds out this isn't Ren's baby, but yours? This is your son and the new Prince of Darkness. See, our plan is working out perfectly, but we have to be careful. Do you really think Yami's gonna go for it? It only makes sense. We need to come up with a plan to have you close by. That way you may hear something that may lead us to the Black Stone. Have you discussed this with Yami? Or Carrie Ann? Discussed what? I'm so sorry got your messages. What happened to the house? That's not important now. Don't worry about it. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't respond right away. I just had a lot to think about. Think about what? It's a lovely day, isn't it? Carlton, what's the matter? You seem a million miles away. What is it? I'm sorry, dear. You're thinking of Heidi again, aren't you? I can't get her off my mind. I hurt her so much. It wasn't you that hurt her. It was her mother. Telling her the way she did? She's my little girl, and she always will be. Why don't you go talk to her? I'm having lunch with Tammy today, and if Heidi's there, I'll ask her how she's doing. I haven't talked to her since I left her mother. I hope she's doing okay. I really miss her. I know you do, dear. I'm sure the two of you will be back together very soon. It's almost noon, though, and I'm supposed to meet Tammy. I don't want to keep her waiting. Okay, say hi to Tammy for me. And if you see Heidi, tell her I love her. Okay, are you just going back to the apartment? Uh, probably. I don't have much going on today. Are you sure you don't want to have lunch with Tammy and I? No, no, no. Go and have fun with Tammy. Hi, yeah, honey. Alan, what the hell are you doing here? Well, I've been thinking a lot about me and you. Thinking of me? Me? The wife that slept with your brother? The wife that got pregnant by your brother? and then lost it because of him? I don't need to know all the details. Mother, could you please excuse us? I'd like to talk to Claire privately. 
Are you sure that's a good idea? You're going to still be here, aren't you? Yes, Mother. I'll be here for a little while. Well, what do you have to say? First of all, let's just cut the crap. You don't love me, and I certainly don't love you. Do you really feel like that? Well, don't you? Well, maybe if you didn't run away all the time. Claire, you can't look me in the eye right now and tell me that you still want to be married, can you? Mario, what are you getting at? Do you want a divorce? Because you know how much your mother is against divorce. I don't care about that. This isn't about my mother. It's about your happiness and it's about my happiness. And I think right now, we could be more happy if we weren't married, if we weren't a couple for once. You know, you're right. You're absolutely right. I am. I mean, I know I am. Yeah, we should have never got married. Well, we had some good times though, didn't we? Here and there. But I have to tell you, your mom means the world to me. So it's a done deal then. We can make that clean break. And I can set you up with some cash. How does this look? I can go ahead and get the papers drawn up tomorrow morning. You would give me all of this money after everything I did and kept from you? Wow. I don't know what to say. Maybe finally? We both can be free. There's just one thing, Claire. You have to leave town. I don't want you anywhere near my family. You can leave today. You can leave right now. Hi, Carlton. I'm surprised you remember me. I think we only met once a few years ago. You shouldn't be here. Why can't you leave your sister alone? Carlton, my friend, I think I know my sister a little bit more than you do. I don't care what you think. She's made it very clear she wants nothing to do with you. Well, I'm here now, in the Sioux. I'm looking for a job, so if you know of any... Well, that's fine. But if you get a job in the Sioux, we're both going to move and we're gonna to continue to move as long as you follow us. Carlton, you're making me sound like some kind of stalker. Well, aren't you? You've been harassing Jacqueline for the last 10 years. Oh, I see. So she's filled you in. Oh, I know all about you, Alan. Your sister told me about the mean, rotten things you've done to her over the years. Hmm, I wouldn't call them mean, Carlton. I was just looking out for family. She's told you a million times she could do quite well without you in her life. Well. I can see this is going nowhere fast. What is it with you? Why can't you just leave her alone? I guess she didn't tell you what was going on. I didn't think so. I don't care. I want you to stop this harassment. I will call the police. Yummy, my dear. You're back. Sally, so nice to see you. How is our grandchild doing? Oh, I think he or she will be coming real soon. I'm so looking forward to being a grandmother. And Clive, you're looking forward to being a grandfather, aren't you? Oh yes, and a proud one. And how are you feeling, Sally? I'm doing okay. It gets kind of crowded at the women's shelter. Yes, Yami, that's what we were discussing. Perhaps Sally can move in with us until the baby's born. You know, I think that's a wonderful idea. You do? Of course, Sally. I know we've had our differences through the years, but you're family now. You're carrying my late son, Ren's child. And this baby makes me feel so close to him. That's wonderful to hear, Yami. And who knows? Maybe you and the baby can stick around for a while after the baby's born. But do you think Carrie Ann is going to like this idea? She hasn't been exactly warm to the idea since we've gotten back together, my dear. 
I don't think we have to worry about it. Carrie Ann's always working. She's hardly ever here. Well, I'm here now. What's going on? Oh, Carrie Ann, hi. You remember Sally? Oh yes, the witch that seduced Wren is now pregnant with your grandchild. How could I forget? Uh, Carrie Ann, can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, please. What? You want me to leave? You want me to leave town? That's a lot of money there, Claire. I told you I won big. That's enough to keep you going for a while. You can do what you want. No more marriage, no more fighting. Anything you want to do, you can do it. Just not here in the suit. But your mother, I can't leave her. Claire, if you don't leave, you don't get a dime. Believe me, I'll make sure you don't see a penny. Now make up your mind. Do you want the money or do you not want it? Next on Tammy. Would you please tell me what Jocelyn did? And what about Heidi? How is she doing? Are you asking? Carrie Ann, I sense there's a problem. Yanni, Clive is playing you.